This is Kelly Michelko, and I'm speaking with Mr. Ken Nelson at his home in North Battleford. And today is July 24th, 1985. And Ken Nelson has been playing ball, played ball for a number of years, and we're going to talk about his experience in North Battleford playing ball with the Beavers and management of the Beavers after that. And Mr. Nelson, maybe you can tell me the circumstances that brought you to North Battleford and when you did come to North Battleford. Uh, well, I came here in 1952. Uh, they imported Packley Hole Baseball Club, probably just the two Dean brothers that were uh, still playing with North Battleford when I came here. And uh, at that time, they brought in all players from all over. There's quite a few Canadians that were playing on the club at that time were hockey players that the Emil France had met and found out they're pretty good ball players and Emil was our manager that year so he brought quite a few of those fellows in. There was Art Stone and uh, Chuck Holdaway and uh, fellows like that that uh, were good hockey players were also good ball players and Jackie McLeod and uh, then we had quite a few of the colored boys from the states that come up here to play. We had Bob Heron and Curtis Tate, John Coleman, uh, Louis Green Jesse Blackman, and uh, so we came out with a fairly good ball club that year. Um, how did uh, North Battleford find out about you? How did you get drafted to come down here? Well, I was uh, playing baseball out of the coast, but I came back and I played with the uh, uh, Swift Current and the Scepter Baseball Club. They were more or less tournament baseball clubs, and uh, we played a, an exhibition game, a benefit game in Saskatoon, rather, for one of the ball players that had cancer from it was with the Eston Baseball Club, and uh, we played the North against the South, and I was playing with the South, and uh, so that's where I met Emil Francis. So the next year he contacted me to play for North Battleford. Mm -hmm. And so 1952, the Beavers won the championship. That's right. It was uh, our league championship, and that year, I think 52. We won $8,200 in uh, tournament money, which was big money in those days. I see. Um, who would have been some of the other key individuals responsible for baseball in North Battleford in those years? Well, besides, uh, the, the whole town was actually, <laughs> but uh, Emil France is the one that contacted me to, and uh, hired most of the ball players, but Ab Bedard and Don Grant, Keith Ernie, and uh, uh, probably they were the main guys, but there was. Uh, Oh, like Judge uh, Maher in Saskatoon was an executive, and uh, in fact, the whole town turned out then to help. You go up to the baseball park at a practice, and we'd have three or four hundred people up there interested in even watching us practice in those days. So it was quite exciting. And that's right. And the league that you played for was the uh, Western Canadian Baseball League. Maybe we can talk a bit about that. Well, yes, the, the first uh, two years it was here it was. Uh, there were just actually the four teams in North Battleford, Saskatoon, Moose Jaw, and Regina, and uh, they, then they expanded in 1956. They got in what they called uh, the Can American League, and uh, there was Edmonton, uh, Lloyd Minster, North Battleford, Saskatoon, Moose Jaw, Regina, and then they had the clubs from uh, Winnipeg, Carmen, Manitoba and Minot and Williston and uh, Bismarck in the States were all in the league, so it made it quite a heavy schedule that year with all the traveling. Mm -hmm. How about how many games did you play in a year then? Uh, 72 games, uh, league games, and then we, of course, we'd play about 20 exhibition games before the season started, and then we had our league playoffs, which ran well into September before we were finished. And. Uh, at this time, I suppose the players were paid. They were all paid then. About how much cash? Well, some of them got uh, three fifty, four hundred dollars, and some up to maybe six hundred dollars. That was a lot of bucks in those days. Uh -huh. um, what was scouting like in terms of uh, major league scouts coming into this area and looking at the players? And well, even in our own ballpark here, a lot of times we'd have uh, on a double header on the Sunday we may, we might have uh, 10 to 15 uh, scouts sitting in the stands at that time they were bringing in uh, a lot of uh, American ball players college ball players like Edmonton they imported a whole uh, 
college club from the States, uh, USC University Club, and uh, they had some real good ball players on it. And uh, our league at that time was the only league in the world where the NCAA were uh, affiliated. Uh, we were affiliated with the NCAA, and uh, a college baseball player that was on a scholarship uh, wouldn't uh, lose his eligibility. Uh, maybe we can talk about uh, some of the wins for the Beavers. They were quite successful in the 50s. Um, you, what what years did you win uh, league champions? Well, we started in 52, 52, 53, 54, and uh, we were in the playoffs in 55, and uh, we didn't uh, end up in the finals. But 56 and uh, 57, we won it again. And in 58, uh, we went to the league finals. We were, in fact, it was the best of seven, and we played uh, eight games, and uh, and Willis and North Dakota beat us. And in 1956, it was the Global World Series. What was that all about? Well, it was uh, teams from all over the world that participated in it, and uh, they had their Canadian playoffs. Uh, uh, we had big tournaments in the East and the West. And uh, teams were uh, eliminated that way, and uh, North Battleford finished on on top of the playoffs. And uh, where was the, the final game held? In North Battleford, played against Lloyd Minster. I see. One of the fellows in that uh, we played the doubleheader on a Sunday, and the the fellow that. Uh, pitched the first game for Lloyd Minster and tried to pitch a second one, is now the pitching coach for the Los Angeles Dodgers, a fellow by the name of Ron Peronowski. Mm, so a lot of successful people came out of that league. That's then. right. I guess I should ask you what position you played. Huh? I played center field, and uh, I used to be a spare catcher. And I played the infield once in a while, but my main position was uh, center field. Uh -huh. So the Western Canadian Baseball League was uh, responsible for turning out a lot of a lot of good players that went to the major leagues. Maybe we could talk about a bit about baseball in terms of North Battleford and sort of the impact on the community here. Where did you play, and uh, did a lot of people come out to the games, that type of thing? Well, and, uh, when I came here in 52, the uh, ballpark was on top of uh, the ski hill, or King Hill, I think they call it, and uh, it was known as Abbott's Field, and uh, baseball was the big attraction at the, in those days, I think North Battleford was maybe 7,800 people, and it was nothing to get uh, 5,000 out to a ball game. Mm -hmm. Any memorable game in particular? Well, there was. Uh, we always had lots of them. When we had fellows like Emil Francis and Jackie McLeod, they were always getting kicked out of games, so there was always some excitement. Uh, I think one of the, the games in 19... 52 won the championship that uh, we uh, beat Saskatoon 22 to 9 and we were behind in the sixth inning and uh, we come back and exploded and won that one which was quite a thrill. They had the Bentleys playing for them and uh, which were real good ball players and that was quite a thrill but uh, 1956 was, was a, a real thriller. We started out the season and uh, We'd won, uh, lost our first 12 ball games. We went on a road trip down to, uh, down into the states, and we'd lost our first 12 ball games. We had uh, a lot of new pitchers come in that we didn't know, and uh, uh, we just couldn't do anything right. And we came back and started in. I think we won something like 16 ball games in a row before we lost one, and uh, then we were we were away for the rest of the year. Let's see, it bounced right back. Uh, you played ball until what year before you finally packed it in? Well, I finished in uh, 1968. I think it was the last time I played. Uh -huh. And uh, what did you do? Did you still become involved with I was. Uh, I coached the club for old oh Garson for um, about 60, 61 and 62 in there till. Um, about 67, and uh, I quit for one year, and in, in uh, 68, I took the ball club over again, and I, I ran it in 68, and uh, we won everything that was possible to win that year. We won our 
league. We won uh, the playoffs, and we were entered in four of the biggest tournaments in Western Canada, and we won all four tournaments. Can you name some of the players that were quite prominent with you? Uh, well, we had uh, a fellow by the name of Pete Duncan, who's probably one of the best ball players that uh, has ever played here. And uh, Pete was a, a pitcher, a third baseman for us. And uh, we had a fellow by the name of Greg Dvorak, a pitcher from Sacramento. And uh, Greg won 20 straight games for us that year. Another fellow from Victoria was Jerry Lister. And uh, Dave Hallis from town here played with us, Cam Sternick. And uh, we had a little fellow from Prince Albert that played second base by the name of Manny Primo. And uh, we had an all-around good ball club, a good hitting ball club, and we had real good pitching. Mm. So with a team like that, I suppose uh, a lot of the community had come out to watch. That's right. The Western Canadian Baseball League uh, finally changed, and it became the North Saskatchewan Baseball League, I believe. Yes. Um, well, at that time, the recreation really picked up, and people were going to the lakes, and uh, and the attendance kind of fell off, and. In 1958 and uh, 59, North Battleford joined with uh, Lloyd Mintz, they called them the, the Combines at that time. And between the two cities, they were able to survive, but uh, it was a struggle. We had to put on a lot of different functions, uh, run bingos and that type of thing to survive. And uh, so the next year, North Battleford in 1960 went into the uh, North Saskatchewan Baseball League. There was uh, Kindersley and Unity and Neilberg and Saskatoon. And uh, it was more or less local players. You, you could bring in uh, two American ball players, and usually all the clubs each brought in a, a couple pitchers or a pitcher or a catcher. And uh, that way it got started. And uh, it didn't take very long in the early 60s before uh, a lot of our local ball players. Uh, could have played in uh, in the Western Canada Baseball League. They really developed fellows like Roy Rowley and Jackie Rowley and Carmen Keller and Dave Hallis and and all these fellows became real good baseball players. Mm -hmm. uh, the North Saskatchewan Baseball League, I guess it wasn't quite as well known as the Western Canadian Baseball League. Uh, not the same kind of funding and uh, that type of thing. No, that's right. Uh, it was... Uh, it wasn't as good a caliber of baseball, but it, it grew, it kept growing, and it kept getting better all the time. Until now, it's kind of faded out the same way as the, the other league did. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it's been kind of responsible. Baseball doesn't seem to be as prominent as it used to be. That could be part of the reason, I suppose. Yes, uh, and yet I think if you go back to the, all these towns and, uh, and cities where uh, baseball has actually grown through Little League and uh, all the different divisions they've had, but uh, there's so many things for other for people to do now that uh, they don't draw that well at baseball anymore. Um, well, you came to North Battleford to play ball. Uh, now the baseball's declined. Any regrets that it's uh, not what it used to be? Or well, I had, uh, you like to see good baseball, but I enjoy baseball. It doesn't matter. I go out to the ballpark, and it doesn't matter whether it's the little guys or the old fellows playing. I still enjoy baseball very much. In fact, I spent three days at the ballpark last week uh, uh, doing the PA system for the old timers game. And uh, some of those fellows don't run as good, but they can still hit the ball. Before we finish off here, I'd like to go back a bit to the 50s and when baseball was a going concern in North Battleford. Uh, maybe you can tell me a bit more about that. Well, it's, uh, I couldn't believe it, the way people uh, came out to the ball games. Uh, it's the, our games are always played at 6 o'clock, and the stores were supposed to be open until 6 o'clock. And in uh, those days, there wasn't that very many vehicles around. And uh, you could look from all the way, almost from the, the uh, hospital up here, and down past Craig's and under the subway, and there'd be a stream of people going there all the way up to the ballpark. And uh, it was uh, illegal to play charge for Sunday baseball games, but North Battleford, 
Uh, we even had the RCMP, they'd go up to the ballpark and clear the people out and make them pay to get back in for the second game. <laughs> but uh, all you'd see uh, cattle trucks out there, big racks on it. And when those trucks came to the ballpark, they were loaded with people. You, you couldn't believe where they were coming from. Uh, in 1952, in the playoffs against Saskatoon, they had uh, phone calls uh, south of Regina for people trying to get tickets to uh, get into the ball games here. So the, they were kind of baseball crazy all over the province. So North Battleford has kind of declined, but uh, I guess in the 50s that was the heyday of that, baseball in that North That was Battleford. it, yeah. It uh, was probably the uh, greatest hotbed for uh, baseball in Canada was North Battleford and uh, probably for about 10, 12 years. Well, thanks, Mr. Nelson. You're welcome.